participate on this new initiative, the Open Source for America thing. And it's so cool, they have this website, Open Source for America. I'm one of the guys that are organizing it behind the scenes. I'm trying to make the website run very, very smooth. And the thing is, there's going to be so many people participating in the Open Source for America stuff that I need a huge database and a huge disk uh, pool to actually make sure that all the information is saved in there. So I'm here working on uh, preparing a ZFS pool for this Open Source for America site. And it's going to be a huge pool. The problem is, I'm having some issues with ZFS. You know, should I put a large pool, a small pool? I'm not really sure. So, uh, let's see here. Let me see who is online right now. Oh, I see George is online. So George is one of the developers of ZFS. Let me see. Let me, let me talk to him. Hey, George. How you doing? You're very quick. I was just IMing I you know. to talk I, to you. I, I knew you were calling me. Excellent, man. It's very hey, good to see you here. I, I, I heard that you're having some ZFS issues. I'm, I'm trying to install this uh, ZFS pool for this huge site, and I'm not really sure what I should do. Okay, well, um, what kind of pool do you want to create? Um, I, I, I don't know. What kind of things should I be worried about? You know, well, you, know you may want to consider things like uh, whether you want to do mirroring or you want to use like RAID, RAID Z. A, either uh, single parity or double parity? You know, I think I think the RAID thing is better, is it right? Because Mihir, uh uses too much disk, right? Yeah, so it, you know, if you want more capacity, then you may want to you know, choose something like RAID Z1. Okay, I, I think I want more capacity because I'm going to okay. be a huge database. Sure, that's that's pretty easy. As a matter of fact, I brought you the ZFS administration oh, guide. Oh, cool. I didn't see it on your Excellent. shelf back there. Excellent. So the ZFS administration guide. Excellent. Yeah, Can it's got all sorts of answers to, to the questions you might have. Perfect. Let me. I'll, I'll save here in my, on my library right here. Perfect. Excellent. So, um, is this ZFS guide something that people can download from the internet too? Absolutely. You Ex can get it if you go to opensolaris.org. Opensolaris.org. Um, yeah, and you go to the ZFS community, you can ZFS actually community. see various documentation that you can download. Yeah, One I can see there's all kinds of documentation guide. here. Yeah. Get any start guides, how to, con how to contribute to ZFS. Oh, can you contribute to ZFS? You can. ZFS is open source, so Whoa. as a contributor you can actually develop additional uh, features or, or fix bugs for it. Excellent. That's why we want to use it for this open source for America stuff because it's all open source software. Cool. Absolutely. Excellent. Great idea. Very good. So coming back to the RAID stuff. Yes. Uh, I have. Um, let me see here on my machine. I have a uh, hundred discs. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, it, it just kind of depends on how how you want to split up the discs. Right. Because I think that you, when when I had to deal with file system in other OS in the past. I had to configure each one of these disks manually, right? Yeah. And kind of do things, you know, kind of try. I don't even know how to do that. And this other OS is kind of complicated. Yeah, it's it's a lot of steps if you try to use something other than ZFS. I okay. Mean, one of the things that ZFS makes it very easy for the administrator to actually handle large numbers of disks, because really you only have to remember two commands. It's two commands. Z pool if you want to do something with the pool. Z pool. Or ZFS if you want to create a file system. ZFS will create a file system. So when I do Z pool here, it lists me all kinds of, of, of disks here. Yes, there's oh. actually all, several different sub options that you can have to Z pool. Like if you want to create a pool, it's Z pool create. Z pool create. Yep. Do I, and do I name the disk that I want to you, put you, in there? What you're going to do is you're, give, you're going to give the name to the to a pool, so okay. you can call it whatever you want. Like Z pool open source for America. Absolutely. Cool. Then, or Z pool my website. Exactly. Or Z pool my photos. Whatever you want. Cool. Excellent. And then after that, you're going to give it some kind of specification of how you want your disk to be laid out. So in this case, you want to do RAID Z1. I, I, I want to lay out in a way that they can go sleep nicely. Okay, so you right? can do RAID Z1 and then give it the series of disks that you want to be in that RAID Z1. Okay, so disk 0 from disk 99. Perfect. Perfect, good. And that works. Just, just like that, it should create the pool. Whoa. It's a rather fast operation. Whoa, it's pretty quick. Yeah. And it's already striping everything and doing RAID and all that for me immediately? All, all that is done immediately. And Whoa. by default, you get your first file system. Whoa, man. So whatever you call the pool is your first file system. It, I have a first file system here. And then I, I heard that in ZFS you can do the snapshot stuff. Oh, absolutely. What you is know, that snapshot for? So if, if you want to take, take point in time snapshots, like let's say you want to save some functionality of your, your website before you deploy a new version of Apache. Right, you okay. You might, might actually want to take a snapshot before you actually put the new version of Apache on. Oh, that's a good idea. So I can I can kind of back up all my data Absolutely. with a snapshot, and yeah. then if something goes wrong, I can just go back you to the previous snapshot. To it. it goes back, oh. and it goes back to that point in time. 
Excellent, that makes my life so much easier. And because it's so easy to take snapshots, you can actually create as many as you want. Okay, uh, isn't that, that other thing, uh, something that's kind of do snapshots automatically? And yes. you can slide back in time or something like this There's, that does that? There is a component in Open Solaris called Time Slider. Time Slider, isn't, yeah. isn't that a cool name? It yeah, slides it, in time. <laughs> it, it Ooh, sure that's so cool. Yeah. Yes, okay. So you can actually create the schedule of how often you want snapshots to be created and go back and forward. So I can decide how much I slide in time. Absolutely. Cool. All right. <laughs> And, and is this integrated with GNOME or something? It's integrated with GNOME, so you get a nice GUI, uh, nice GUI interface that you can actually yeah. set everything up from. Whoa, you can... Yeah, you, see right there. Yeah, right here. It's so cool. Yeah, it's pretty Whoa, cool. Whoa, I mean, sliding in time here. <laughs> you really are. Whoa, look how it's sliding here. <laughs> Woohoo, so cool, this is sliding stuff. So that's done with ZFS snapshots? Yeah, it's done with ZFS snapshots. So you know, that's not a lot of magic behind them? No, it's, it's, it's actually all driven by ZFS. Excellent, that's so cool. It's I love other, this. You know, the other thing you can also do is you can actually set up compression on each file system individually. So if you so, want to have compression on, you can just turn it on, on uh, automatically on demand. Okay, so I can save space if I need. Yeah, absolutely. Right, okay, that's so cool. So if I have like a file system with a lot of text data, then you're gonna compress a lot so I can, I, hey, that's what I need, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. For your web service, it's perfect. Excellent, that's so cool. Wow, I love this ZFS stuff. Yeah. What else? I'm, I'm kind of learning so much from sure. you. The other thing you can do is if you have to like create multiple websites, yeah. you can initially put one on one file system, create, okay. a, create a snapshot, and then make multiple clones of it. Oh, cool. So the clones? Nice what, that, what are clones for? Yeah, so clones allow you to like essentially duplicate the amount of data that's on one file system. Duplicate but, data on the file system? Yep. The, the nice thing is it doesn't use extra space because you end oh, up sharing, uh, the, you uh, end up sharing uh, the space uh, underneath. I know, that, that doesn't work. Come on, man. You can't do magic. You're duplicating the file system and it's not using extra space? No, it's, so, it's you're essentially sharing the same binaries. And since the binaries yeah. aren't gonna change, you just share them under the covers. Whoa, that's so nice. That's so cool. Oh, how those guys could come up with it. You it, know? It, it do is, you know do you want do you know any of the open Solaris ZFS developers? I actually happen to be one of them. Whoa! That's why you know so much. Come on, man. How do you dream all this stuff? Uh, you, you know, know? It's, do it's you have dreams many, about many, it? And then many hours are spent dreaming this stuff up. Many hours. I know. That's that must be a lot of work. It is. It and is. how do I? How can I work out with you? Uh, you can simply go to Open Solaris, get on ZFS Discuss. Okay. And actually send communications. Not only will you communicate to the community, you'll actually communicate to the developers too. That's excellent. So I can just log in here in the OpenSolaris.org. Look, ZFS community, yep. and, oh, ZFS Discuss, I can see right there. Yeah. Okay, so I can join it. You can join it, send emails, we'll actually answer them back. Excellent. And if I learn enough, and I know a little bit like you, uh, actually you know a lot, but I know just a little bit, can I start hacking up and, and, and uh, doing uh, bug, bug uh, fixing and all that? Absolutely. You can actually, there's another email that, uh, website that has ZFS-code. ZFS-code. So you can actually talk to the developers about code changes and you can also request to be an integrator and you'll get a sponsor from Sun that will work with you to get these code changes put back. Oh, excellent. Whoa, I'm going to start doing this right now. Yeah. That's a yeah. great bug to work on too. Is it? Yeah, you should work on that one. That, that one right here? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. Does that one gonna help me out on my website later? I think it will. Okay, excellent. You know, if, if you have something else to do, you, you can just go because I, I'm busy right now. Okay, well, hey, if you need something, you call me or send me an email on ZFS Discuss. Did you say anything? <laughs> okay, oh, hey. thanks George, it was great. Thanks a lot. Bye Jack. Bye. Oh man, this is so great. I can't stop thinking about this. ZFS, ZFS, I'm gonna dream this at night tonight. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna read that book. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later.